Hi there, do you know what viruses and bacteria are? Yup, we all know they are both microorganisms but there are a lot to know about them. Let's check them out. Viruses are microscopic infectious agents that are surrounded by a protein code that allow the virus to survive in other organism cells to reproduce. They are considered as non-living organisms. This is because viruses are a cellular organism. They don't carry out metabolic activities because they lack of cytoplasm and other organelles such as true nucleus and ribosome. Viruses cannot reproduce on their own. Therefore, they need a host cell in order to make copies of themselves. However, they may infect the host cell and cause disease. Viruses can be existed in two different states, extracellular and intracellular. The virus that already invades the host cell is in the intracellular state. Here, the virus only exists as a nucleic acid. Extracellular viruses is called virions, the virus before they invade the host cell. During this state, the virus is consists of a protein code, capsid, that surround the nucleic acid core that contain the viral genome which exists either in single or double-stranded DNA or RNA. The capsid of a virus with enclosed viral genome is called nucleocapsid, which enclosed with the outermost layer of the virus. Besides, there's also envelope protein that helps in attachment of the virus to the host cell. The viruses that surround by envelope are called envelope virus, for example like HIV while the ones without envelope are called non-envelope viruses or naked viruses like poliovirus. Viruses' shapes depend on the capsid. There are three basic shapes of viruses, helico, polyhedral, and complex. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that classified as prokaryotes which has no true nucleus and lack of membrane-bound organelles. However, bacteria have other cellular structures like capsule, cell wall, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, plasmid, pili, ribosome, nucleoid, and flagella. Bacteria also reproduce by binary fission to produce new cells. Bacteria exist in three basic shapes which are spherical or coxy, road shape or bacilli and spiral or spirilia. Now, we already know about viruses and bacteria, but are they similar? Both viruses and bacteria are microorganisms that cause common infection which can spread by infected people, coughing and sneezing. Both of them also contain DNA and enzyme, but lack of true nucleus. However, they also have a lot of differences. Viruses are considered as non-living organisms while bacteria are living organisms. Viruses are also way smaller than bacteria. In terms of structure, DNA and RNA of viruses are enclosed in the capsid. In bacteria, DNA and RNA are floating freely in the cytoplasm. Viruses don't have cellular structures, while in bacteria, cellular structures like ribosome exist. Unlike bacteria, cell walls do not exist in viruses, but protein code exists instead to protect the genetic material. Viruses reproduce by invading the host cell while bacteria reproduce through binary fission. Lastly, disease that is caused by viruses cannot be treated by antibiotics but antibiotics can be used to treat disease that is caused by bacteria. COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. It's a disease that is caused by novel coronavirus or severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, which can lead to viral respiratory diseases like severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS. Influenza or flu is an infectious respiratory disease that caused by influenza virus. It will cause illness and sometimes lead to death. Coronavirus and influenza virus can affect the respiratory tract and lead to death. They also have common symptoms like fever, fatigue, and dry cough. Both viruses can spread through close contact of infected people. COVID-19 is more contagious among certain group of ages and have more super-spreading events than flu. Therefore, COVID-19 can easily and quickly spread to other people. 
people who are at risk of severe illness caused by coronavirus is high for older people and people with severe illness like heart disease, while flu can cause high risk to children, older people and people who underlying with medical condition like kidney disease. Even though COVID-19 pandemic has lasted till this day, there are no specific vaccine or medicine yet to treat the disease. However, these three medicines, chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine and combination of lopinavir and ritonavir were given to the patient who infected with COVID-19 since the pandemic started in this country. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine are medicines that are used to treat malaria and has anti-inflammatory properties. Influenza virus can be treated by giving flu shot or antiviral drug that can make the illness milder. Even though COVID-19 cases are still increasing, but it is possible for us to win fighting this virus. Just obey the SOP by wearing mask, using hand sanitizer and practicing social distancing. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Stay safe everyone.